Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on D. Lambert's Ratio Test Part 2. Go to the playlist, first watch the sequence and series basics, then you can watch Limit Comparison Test Part 1 and Part 2 video, then finally watch the basic ideas on D. Lambert's Ratio Test. Once you learn this from the playlist, now you can see the Part 2 video. So, in this session, we are going to solve some problems on D. Lambert Ratio Test. And we just recall my limit comparison test get failed when it has the terms n factorial a power n or n power n or the terms are increasing. In that situation, we go to the method D. Lambert's ratio test. In D. Lambert's ratio test, we are considering a positive term series u n and we are finding u n plus 1 and u n. When you divide u n plus 1 by u n and we apply n tends to infinity, the limit will be getting a finite value l. It should not be equal to 1. If it is less than 1, my summation u n converges. Greater than 1, it is diverging. If it is equal to 1, the test fails. That is the drawback of D. Lambert's ratio test. Okay, let us go into the problem student. Discuss the convergence of summation 3 by 4 plus 1, 3 square by 4 square plus 1, 3 cube by 4 cube plus 1. See here, 3, 4, 3 square, 4 square, 3 cube, 4 cube. That means the power is increasing. So, I cannot apply limit comparison test. As usual, let us take summation u n is this and we have to find the nth term. As I said, in ratio test, finding nth term is going to be very, very easy. So, the first term is 3, second term is 3 square, third term is 3 cube, etc. So, my nth term is 3 power n. Now, let us come for the denominator. The denominator first term we have 4 plus 1, second term we have 4 square plus 1, third term we have 4 cube plus 1. So, my nth term is going to be very easy. 4 power n plus 1. So, now let us write the nth term. So, it is very clear since the problem has 4 power n, 3 power n, we know in general if it has any a power n or n power n or n factorial, then I cannot apply limit comparison test. I have the option to go for ratio test. For the ratio test, we have to find n plus 1. Just replace n by n plus 1. Now, I am going to divide this. For this, I have to simplify the problem. So, 3 power n into 3 because 3 power n plus 1 can be written as 3 power n into 3 because the base is same. Here also, similarly, 4 power n into 4 plus 1. I can write my u n plus 1 like this. Now, u n plus 1 divided by u n, I can easily just write as it is and write the reciprocal of this. Now, cancelling 3 power n, 3 power n and I want to take 4 power n outside because it will create a trouble. We know that 4 power infinity is also infinity. So, when I have 1 by 4 power n, when I applying infinity, will be getting 1 by 4 power 8, that is 1 by infinity, it will become 0. So, so, for this purpose, I am doing like this. And there is one 3 here, all divided by. Here also, I will take 4 power n in the denominator. 4 plus 1 by 4 power n. Now, 4 power n, 4 power n get cancelled. Applying limit n tends to infinity for u n plus 1 by u n, we will be getting 3 by 4. Because this term will become 1 plus 0. This term will become 4 plus 0. You can see the typed version. Hope this is less than 1. So, by ratio test, if L less than 1, my summation u n converges. So, we can conclude the series is in converging series series by ratio test. This is very important. You have to mention the test. Hope you got the point, students. Let us go into the next problem. Test the convergence of this series. See here, in the first term, I have one data in numerator. In second term, I have two datas. In third term, I have three datas. Similarly, for the denominator also, first term, one data, second term, two data, third term, three data. So, the datas in the terms are increasing. So, LCT cannot be applied. I have to go for ratio test. So, let us go for the ratio test. As usual, write summation u n. Now, we have to find the numerator and denominator. The first term 1, second term 1, 2, third term 1, 2, 3, it goes on. Obviously, my nth term is 
n but this is a increasing term series so in nth term how many terms you have 1 2 3 up to n this is my nth term in the numerator you should be very cautious similarly now we go for denominator 3 5 7 it is increasing like this so now we have to go for arithmetic progression tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a is 3 d is Two. D is the difference between any two consecutive terms. Now the nth term is three plus n minus one into two. That is three plus two n minus two. We'll be getting two n plus one. Now since my denominator terms also increasing, to write the nth term. Okay, this is not numerator. Okay, nth term. We have to write three, five, seven. It goes up to n. My nth term is two n plus one. This is the nth term for the denominator student. So we write the nth term like this. Next, we have to go for the n plus oneth term. To write the n plus oneth term, we should be very careful. Whole square will not change. I will write the terms up to n. That is one, two, three, etc. Up to n. Similarly, in the denominator, three, five, seven, etc. Up to two n plus one. So the next term means we have to add the difference. So here the difference is one. The next term is n plus one. Here the difference is two. The next term is two n plus. 1 plus 2 that is 2n plus 3 hope you understand why i am writing in a different color because when i perform un plus 1 by un i can see this this 1 to n will cancel with this and then this 3 5 7 up to 2n plus 1 will cancel with this so only n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 3 terms will get survive it has all square that is the beauty of ratio test now i'll take n in common both from numerator and denominator will be getting 2 plus 3 by n all square now i can cancel n and n now we have to apply the Limit. You can see the typed version. Now, if we apply the limit, n tends to infinity. U n plus one by U n will be getting one plus zero all square divided by two plus zero all square because one by infinity is zero. So one by four. Very good. It is less than one. You can see the typed version. By ratio test, if L less than one, summation U n converges. By ratio test, we say the given series is a convergent series. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.